Hi everyone. Um, I'm not going to wait for everyone to come in here live, but I want to clarify on the house yesterday. We did a few videos. We weren't able to bring that to conclusion. So I'll just explain briefly what happened. We were dealing with... I'm just at the airport here, but we were dealing with fiber optics running into that house and then running into a fiber optic modem. The readings, as you see in the first video, were absolutely extreme. The meters don't lie. Um, and then the people invited us back so we could dissect further what was going on at that house. Um, so we started to disconnect all the devices and then to isolate what was going on. Um, and we narrowed it down, as the last video showed, down to uh, a wireless phone that was emitting incredible radiation and the fiber optic modem. So those were the two main sources. Uh, the beautiful thing, and this is the reason I'm doing the video, once we shut everything off, it was a beautiful ambient environment. There was minimal radiation. You could, you could just feel you were... You could breathe. You didn't have any um, heat issues or any stress coming on you from that environment. So it was, it was incredible. Everyone there, and there was a bunch of people there, they all acknowledged it. So uh, what we did was we removed, uh, removed that, uh, that cordless phone. They're gonna go back to a regular, regular phone, so that'll eliminate that. In the meantime, they're gonna shield that modem. So, um, and maybe they'll end up getting rid of it, but we gave them, um, you know, stainless steel mesh shield, some kind of uh, like a office garbage can. I've talked about them before, upside down on it. Uh, if you use two of them, you get 80% reduction. So that should be good for the meantime for them. But wow, that was terrible what was going on there. And the tragedy is this is going on all over the world. People are living with this shit in their home. Excuse my language, because that's what it is. And this is just a big business right now. Uh, they're all pushing it, eh, to make money. This is the new fad. So people are going to realize in the coming years that a lot of this technology they don't need. And um, the key issues here I want to stress, this is all about quality of life, quality of your life but also your health and well-being. And right now it's getting compromised big time. And I want to add one final thing. That fiber optic is running straight into a tower. There's almost no degradation of the signal. So you might as well have a cell tower in your living room. And that's the readings we were getting. And we were getting high power output, very high frequency. And the local tower, I checked it, it was, it was, it was average, it was minimal. It was like uh, uh, 3, 4G a few years ago. Nothing like in these major urban centers. So everyone, please keep an eye out. Let us know what's going on. And um, in, a, in a few weeks, we're going to be heading back to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Man, that's, that's, that's quite a center there, the stuff going on there. So we're going to unpack that and just let people know what's going on. But we view this as existential. This is an existential threat to your well-being. And um, let's just keep raising awareness, and hopefully we can help people out. They can have a better life. All right? I want to wish everyone the best. Share your comments. We're happy to address them.